Now for the review of Unit 5. Just to give you a brief background, uh, we're talking about uh, a brilliant entrepreneur, Tony Shea, and his tragic death. But before I get into details on the death, um, just a bit more on the man himself. He either launched or ran very successful companies, which were then sold to first Microsoft, and the company he ran was sold to Amazon. Um, he was allowed to continue working on as the CEO of the company Zappos uh, that was sold to Amazon. But he also really loved partying and he, you know, he would go hard with the parties. And unfortunately that have, you know, that have a big influence on his work performance. He was then asked to retire from the position and that did lead to, I think, a bit of a, a downward spiral. He stopped using social media, he became a bit more of a recluse, I think. And in November, the you know firefighters were called to a house, a burning house, with a man inside. The house was barricaded and they couldn't get in. They did eventually rescue him, but I think it was too late because he died a few days later. Barricade. Barricade. Do you think it's possible to have a company with no managers where everybody is their own boss? Can this happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, if it's a company of one, why not? <laughs> right. But I don't think that a formal company can ever function without some sort of hierarchy. Right. Uh, you know, even if it's not a very strict hierarchy, there has to be some sense of order and direction. Mm. Uh, even if it's shared responsibilities, mm. I think that there has to be some. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Now I agree. I feel, I mean, most companies will have some, some sort of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. um, I have heard of startups that are trying to keep it more, I don't know, like what's really called horizontal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to call that, but I feel there's always going to be someone that needs to step up and make decisions and, you know, play a role of, of a leader. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, and um, do you agree that Tony Shea's desire to take risk and live a crazy life made him successful? I think uh, many, new, almost all, in fact, uh, successful people have to take risks. Right. Um, now, how crazy you get with your risk is yeah. all up to you. Um, but just you mentioned last time about Elon Musk. You know, mm. he has taken numerous risks that he talks about, yes. and how he even says, you know, bet on yourself. Yes. You know, uh, don't bet on other people. Bet on yourself because he's taken his own personal wealth and put almost all of it into, you know, Tesla in the beginning, yes. which paid off massively, and then tenfold. Took, <laughs> and then took off that, took money from that, put it in, you know, SpaceX, yes. which even grew even more. So um, I think almost everyone successful has to take a risk. Yeah. That is it for this unit and please join us again next time.